And welcome back to another round A Dead by Daylight. We're here playing the Legion on Azeroth's resting place, and we are playing, uh, I guess you could call this a forever, forever Legion build. Uh, we're running Thrill of the Hunt, which I think everyone is running, or at least has experimented with. We're doing so with the Legion, and that is someone who just let up on the gen. Whatever game. God damn it. Alright, they're on the killer shack, Jen. Yeah, you're not finishing that, Claudette. We have Thana. As part of this build. Let's see if we can actually actually hit you so whenever we're in frenzy that's gonna regress ah. two people were here Right, three people injured. Where'd you go, I wonder? Yeah, this is just causing these gens to regress. We might have to give up the gen on the other side. That shouldn't have, you know, that's ridiculous. We were already through the pallet when that, we were already through the pallet when that happened. Oh, there goes a totem. Ah. All right. Oh, that was ruin, unfortunately, but it's all right, that's soon going to be Pentimento. And then we're going to put to the test whether or not they're on comms. I think we have enough gas in the tank to get to the Ada. Boy, without ruin, they got a lot of work on a lot of gens. A lot of work on a lot of gens. Ah! 
Cannot get to full Thana stacks that we're looking for. They're on my totem. Alright. Oh, that's the end of the thrill of the hunt. thrill, but that's just another pentimento totem we can get, right? Alright, we're gonna see where they're at. The iridescent button letting us know that they're working on these three gens over here. Fair enough. At least we didn't do that in our power, right? Hey, you guys still have a pentimento totem left. They're on the gen in the back behind the main building. We're going to be down a pentimento totem here relatively soon. Make another one, Claudette? Yeah, you... You might have mucked that one up, Claudette. You might have mucked that one up, Claudette. Alright, we're gonna... Go back to Hook. We're gonna make sure this person dies. And that's going to help protect our totem. Claudette, you think you got this one? Yeah, Claudette, you... You messed up, Claudette. Yeah, you messed up, Claudette. She's dead. I 
Let's see if we can get this to uh get these get these gens to regress. I mean, if this is deep, <laughs> okay, that's that's actually kind of funny, Claudette. Look, we knew you were coming to our totem, Claudette. Well, that that didn't come back yet. Thought that hook would have respawned, but oh well. All right, Claudette's dead. Claudette's dead. All right, we're just gonna regress the gens the old fashioned way, or maybe not. Hey, Jane. Jane, this might be the hill you're gonna die on. I realize we've never hooked the Ada. We've hit her, but never, never hooked her. All right, there's no hatch offering here. Not really sure what side of the map she was on. If the hatch is over here. Which it's not. She's got to be s literally sitting over the hatch. I don't know how she didn't find the hatch. Well, she had a key. If she had a key, that'd be a different story, but... If she has a key, then she just gets out. I can more of you, that's right. Little, little slice and dice here on Miss Ada. And that'll wrap up a 4K. And what do we call this? I guess Forever Legion. Reminds us of old Forever Freddy, which was absolutely no fun to play against. And I can't imagine this was any more fun for these survivors to go against 
Uh, the one thing that I guess they did have fun with was the LED and the Claudette both running Flashbang. And they actually got a good a, a save off, uh, both jumping into the locker next to one another. Obviously, those two were coordinated or uh, in an attempt to, to, to get saves. And a, a really good play on the first one. But once we knew... I mean, we, we just we dared them to do it again. They messed up the timing on the second one, and they messed up the timing on the third one. Even though we got blinded on the third one, I honestly I'm not really sure how we didn't drop the uh, drop the Elody at that point. Uh, it made us wander a little bit away from the hook, but that was pretty much uh, still the end of the Elody, and then followed by the end of the Claudette. Uh, this build is just meant to make everything take longer, and of course. The uh, thrill of the hunt, which we know is getting nerfed, uh, kind of headlines it to go along with ruin. Uh, but of course, Pentimento, uh, the real MVP perk out of this bunch. I, I know everyone's talked about how oppressive thrill is and how much it's not fun to go against the thrill build. But even when they break thrill of the hunt, Pentimento is just as bad, if not worse. 30% decrease on repair speed time. Uh, developers nerf this all you want just as a as a person who plays a lot of killer and runs totems occasionally here and there uh, please don't touch pentimento because this might be the best slowdown perk in the game when you're running it with totems that survivors are going to break and ruin they kind of have to break uh, thrill uh, obviously they're going to want to break with this build uh, thana we never did get to four stacks so we never did get um uh, we never did get to the additional 12%. The max we ever had was 6%, but 6% on top of the additional time with Thrill of the Hunt to cleanse those totems, on the additional 30% time for Pentimento, you know, that can add up. And then you have the Filthy Blade, meaning it took longer to mend, more wasted time. We were able to use the Fuming Mixtape to combine with Ruin to actually have good regression when people were not on gens and we were in Frenzy. And even when Ruin was gone, the, the fuming mixtape essentially working as a mini Ruin whenever we were in Frenzy. Not only regressing the gens, but also letting us know what gens had survivors working on them. At least we could su presume what gens were getting worked on by the, by the aura. Uh, all this, just a miserable build, I'm sure, to go up against. And one that honestly... We're testing different killers. We wanted to see exactly how oppressive Thrill was with different killers. We've already seen it with a bunch so far. In this case, Legion absolutely made it a miserable experience, I'm sure, for these survivors. For us, it's a 4K, though. We'll take it with this Forever Legion build. Hope you enjoyed the round. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button while you're here. New videos go up on the channel on a daily basis. And you can follow us over on Twitch at the link below at Geriatric Gaming 11 and get notified whenever we're live there. Till the next time, thanks again so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.